Again, I'll say that. We're to what? He or she is to be bold in bombarding the gates of hell. Setting who? People free. Amen? From what? From the control of Satan. Because Satan wants to control our lives. Amen? And destroy us. Amen? But this army will be victor victorious over the demon powers and gather the harvest into the hands of God. There will be flooded floods of demons trying to block the harvest. Amen? Amen? Trying to block us. That's what it's saying. Their purpose will be to overthrow God's plan for Love Week's ministry. I wrote Love Week's ministry because that's his plan to overthrow this, what we're doing. Amen? Amen. And I want to make sure that we're aware of that. So what we're doing, we're putting on the armor of God. Amen? Amen. Now, their purpose will be what? To overthrow God's plan. Yes. Amen. To raising up what? A mature and glorious church, which is love wings. Mm -hmm. Amen. The destiny to what? To win the nations of Port St. Lucie and this city with what? The good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen. The good news of Jesus Christ. So we know that the enemy is what? Bombarding us. Yeah. What, are, what are you trying to do? He's been trying to get me mad physically every way he can to get me sick. So I don't come and I said, no, I could be, I, like I said it, you know, tearing out my eye, coughing. I'm a priest of God. I got 110 fever. Lord, I can stand up in my body. I'm a preach. Amen? I'm not going to let the enemy steal it from me. Amen? Because that's his purpose. And when you know that, and you're aware of that, now what you're doing, you're well equipped. Amen? Because you know that you don't stand alone. God is with us. Amen? Amen. And he's going to try to bombard you. Believe me, whether it be through your family, your relationship, through your children, through your finances, through every area, even in the church. You're trying to put this score and try to get you. Well, you don't need to go to church. Well, you're going to listen to him. He preaches law. Or he talks too much, you know? Either way. And it, it's true. And put this stuff in your mind, and then you be saying, man. And then you say, well, I'm going to stay home and do nothing. Who's losing out? You are. Because God got a word for you. Amen? Amen. Whatever the word is. I, man, I can hear the word all day. I love the word. Amen? Amen. Because that's what I'm trying to make you aware that he comes what? To bombard you. He don't want you going to church. He don't want you dancing. He don't want you playing an instrument. He don't want you doing nothing. Stay home, watch TV, and play on the internet. That's what he wants. So that way he can corrupt your mind yeah. with the internet. Amen. Amen. Or with a game, those games that kill people and show you death and nothing. You know, that, that ain't right. Amen. I'm, I'm serious. We got to watch what we have. Amen. Mm -hmm. In our homes. Yeah. Because that is his plan to bombard you. But we're trying to what? Raise mature people in this place. Yes. What I mean by mature is not just by age, it's by knowledge also. By having the word within you. Because what happens is now you have the strength. Amen? Amen. I could preach a good sermon and maybe say, you know what, maybe sound real good. And, and, and oh yeah, if God knows the body you need, God's going to give you money, God's going to give you, and give you all that stuff and use one stuff. But no. We're going to know the word. We're going to be equipped so we can battle who? The enemy. Because he's always there. He's never going to give up. Never. I'm going to tell you, he's never going to give up and you're going to watch life. on your life. He wants to destroy you yes. and to kill you. That's, that's his whole thing. Yes. Amen. And to take your soul to the pit of hell. Yes. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. Satan has his plan, but God.
That's all he's about. He yes. wants to take your soul. Yes, he does. 